The following opinions are solely those of BoatTest.com and its test captain. Hi, this is Eric Colby for BoatTest.com, and today we're going to take a behind-the-scenes look at the repowering of a 1987 Bayliner 3450 Avanti with new 383 mag stroker inboards from Mercury Remanufacturing. The repower project took place at Weaver's Marine Service in Baltimore, Maryland, a full-service repair facility. Now let's meet Jeff Zayner so we can learn more about Weaver's Marine. Yes, sir. We've become a one-stop shop on repowers. We can handle any mechanical, any electrical, all the fiberglass repair, the paintwork. We've become a one-stop shop except for canvas and upholstery. Boat owner Mike Abenshane tells us about how he arrived at the decision to repower his boat. Well, it started with, with the one engine that was bad. The port engine, when we started up beginning of last season, had that terrible knock. And at that point, it was, what are we going to do? Are we going to fix that engine, or are we going to move forward with something else, look for a new boat? We, we looked at others, and it was like, this is a better route for us financially. Weaver Marine technician Chris Leite managed the project, and he explains how the process went. Overall, it was a direct drop-in, minor, minor changes to the footprint, but it was a beautiful install. The job went well. The only thing we had to do to the motors upon uncrating them was to mount the transmissions on them, and they were ready to rock and roll. Now let's take a look at the engines in the boat. We'll talk about the challenges that had to be overcome and the improvements that come with the 383 mag strokers. Because the 383 mag stroker inboard is smaller at 32 inches long and 30 inches wide, it dropped right in place without having to remove the exhaust risers. In addition to being smaller, the new motors have improved access to maintenance items, including the ECM shown here. On the new motors, the oil filter is mounted in a position that makes replacement easy on the front. Remember, these motors get installed backwards because of the V-drive. Notice where the white oil filter is on the old motors. It would have been much harder to reach. Another improvement is the single serpentine belt with a routing diagram right on the thermostat housing. The old motor had two separate belts and required removing pulleys to replace them. Technicians who need to connect a computer for diagnosing an issue will find the plug front and center on the 383 mag stroker inboard. The lone modification that needed to be made to the boat was altering the stringers for the 383 mag stroker inboard's motor mounts. Weavers did the fiberglass work in-house. Because of the 383 mag stroker inboard's smaller footprint, there's more space aft of the engine for accessing the sea strainers and other mechanical accessories. The batteries are pretty easy to get to outboard of the port motor. This wraps up our behind-the-scenes look at repowering this 1987 Bayliner 3450 Avanti with Mercury Remanufacturing's 383 mag stroker inboards. Whether or not repowering is right for everybody is up to the individual, but in some cases it could be a worthwhile consideration. For BoatTest.com, I'm Eric Colby.